Hi, my name's Tom. I was given this next product in exchange for an honest review, and it's exactly what I'm gonna do. For the last two summers, I've struggled with my yard because I have some dark spots where I wanna actually be able to use it at night as I walk around and do stuff. I've got firewood in one spot. I've got pool supplies in another spot. Uh, I even have a pool that doesn't have any real lighting around it. It just gets dark at night. So I've been trying to find ways of adding lighting without having to run long electrical cords or uh, extension cords, which are really just not safe, or dig underground tunnels where I can go ahead and put conduit. I wanna kinda of get away from all that and I wanna go with something a little bit easier. That's where this comes in. You say, wow, Tom, that's great. This is more than just a giant street light. Uh, this is actually a solar powered giant street light. So when Acro reached out to me about this product, I said, holy smokes, I didn't even know they made things like this. Uh, this is one really, really cool product. I actually went ahead and I tested it last night. I put it up, I had it charged up, and then I put it up, and I kind of mounted it in a way where I was just kind of temporarily testing things, and holy smokes, it really does a great job of lighting up an area. It is perfect for people who have large sheds or barns or garages, and they need to go ahead and put a light up, but they don't wanna run the electricity or they don't wanna go ahead and pay an electrician to come out and run a line from one, half, from one building to another, this will go ahead and solve most of those problems. First of all, yes, it is very large. It is curved as well. That curve actually comes in handy. If you just had a flat panel of lights, it would shine the light down in one direction. It would be very focused. The way this works is it actually shines it out in a curve and it actually fills up a lot of area. Uh, I was very impressed when I went ahead and tested it. So now let's go ahead and see what it's like. Unlike a lot of other street lights, this one comes with a remote control. And the remote control has a bunch of cool features on it. Uh, there's several different modes you can actually use for this thing. Now, when I do this here, I'm doing it in a darkened room and I'm doing it so that you can uh, you can see the light but in the, in the mode, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn it kind of to the side so that you're not blinded and so the video is not blown out. So on the remote, there's an on and off button. There's a little red button as well. Ignore it, it doesn't do anything. Uh, the on button simply turns it on there we go, kind of clicks on. Uh, and then I have, I can do a couple different things with it. I can change my brightness or 25% brightness, 50% uh, brightness, 75% brightness, and 100% brightness. And again, you may just barely be seeing that on the video, but it really is pretty bright. You can also obviously turn it off. By default, when you turn this thing on, it will kind of have a dusk to dawn sensor where it will automatically turn on when it gets dark enough to turn on and it will stay on throughout the night and then turn itself off when it gets bright enough that you don't need it any longer. That's really nice. There's another little button right here. It's a little walking guy with the sensor. I'll click that on. And what this will do is it'll actually go ahead and kind of turn itself down once it realizes that nobody's around it. So it's kind of a dimmer light, like a 25 or a 30% brightness. And then when something is near it, it'll go ahead and turn back up to 100%. And then eventually it'll go ahead and flick back down to the 25 or the 30% just to save power, but to still give you a semblance of light in an area, just not a bright semblance of light. So if you want to put it onto a barn or something, you can put it on the outside of a barn, leave, your barn, you'll be able to still be able to see your barn in the distance. You'll see a dim light in the distance. When something walks near, it will go ahead and get brighter. The last set of buttons on the remote go ahead and give you timers. Uh, two hours, what's that, three hours, five, six, eight. You just click one of those buttons and the light will go ahead and automatically stay on that long and then go ahead and turn itself off after that amount of time. Now, this is a street light. It is not something you put inside. It is definitely meant for outside. It is waterproof, it is weatherproof, it is made to collect the sun on these uh, solar panels and you can see here's the way you kind of mount it you kind of mount it up like that somewhere where the Sun is going to be blazing down on these things all day long and it will charge up it's a lot of LEDs that power up so basically this thing is essentially a solar panel a bunch of batteries and LEDs because this is a big light you're gonna to have to consider how you're gonna mount it it comes with this nice steel pole here for mounting and the way you would do this is you would either mount this straight into the wall and the light actually will fit onto there and then tighten onto this bar. That's one way to do it. Uh, or you can go ahead, if you want to mount it onto our existing pole, you can actually put this up on it, put another plate on it, and you can kind of screw it in and tighten it in like that or however you need to do it. Uh, it does come with a whole bunch of hardware and wrenches and screws, all kind of good stuff. Uh, even some extra parts, which is really kind of nice. But you may need to be a little bit handy for actually installing this thing.
I'm gonna eventually use this on a patio extension, but before I do that, I have to pour some concrete and I have to put a larger pole out there. So what I'm gonna do for demonstration purposes is I'm gonna go ahead and mount this on a pole from my pool, and it'll be about uh, seven or eight feet high. And I've kind of learned that that's the best way to do things for video demonstrations, because it's really hard to video stuff when you're 15 feet in the air. Okay, so I've actually gone ahead and installed most of the pieces. I just wanna show you how incredibly simple it is. Uh, here's my pole. That's part of my pool. And again, I'm only about eight feet in the air and I am on a ladder, so I wanna be careful. But you'll see that all I did was put two bolts on each side and tighten them in and clamp them in. And now this bar is nice and sturdy. And on the end of this bar is just a little sleeve. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna end up tightening up those screws. And when I tighten those screws, the whole thing will kind of be tightened onto that bar. This thing, the light just slides on and off of the bar. So I just slide it onto the bar and tighten it in and it'll be good to go. And then I'll let it charge up and tonight I'll show you how it looks. And finally, here's the moment you've been waiting for to actually see how bright it is at night. So it's about the 9, 9.15 right now. Uh, it's fairly dark here. I still have a little bit of lighting from my house off to the side, but I'm actually standing right underneath the light right now and I barely can see the remote here. Here's my, here we go. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. Woo, there we go. Uh, and that's how bright it is. And I'll kind of walk away in a second. I'll kind of show you what it looks like. And you can see it's an actual street light. It really is that bright. Uh, I am about to, let's say here, 10 feet away right now. And I'm gonna just keep walking. And as you see, as I keep walking, I'm still able to see everything. This is my entire side yard. Uh, and remember, this is actually still a little bit low. This is only about eight feet in the air. If you put it up about 10 to 20 feet, what they really kind of recommend, you'll be able to light a whole lot more. Uh, but this is really amazing. Now, we've actually had a cloudy day here for the last two days, and it's been fine. It, it has plenty of energy. It's plenty bright. I'm going to walk back towards it, but just so you can kind of see, the amount of light that you can actually throw with this thing is really incredible. And again, the angle design of the LEDs uh, that really makes a big difference. Otherwise, it'd be all going straight down. It'd be more of a beam. But the fact that it's angled really does get it out to the sides where you can see the light. A quick little note about the remote. Uh, to use the remote, you want to be fairly underneath the light because the sensor is actually right here. So if it's obviously 10 or 15 feet in the air, you're going to want to be like standing underneath it and go ahead and use the remote to go ahead and trigger the different modes. The remote won't work through walls or windows. So you do have to actually be outside underneath the light when you go ahead and set the mode though, it should stay in that mode. Even when from one night to the next, it should stay in that mode. Uh, we've actually, I actually had this thing on in the rain, uh, what, last night and the night before. Uh, it was raining really, really hard and I kind of walked out here, I turned it on, I went back inside, just kind of watched and it's just a street light in the rain. Uh, it had no problems whatsoever. These things are waterproof, they are rated for weather. So that's fine, you can be safe using that. But uh, again, you just have 25, 75, 50, 100 percent. I'm going to do 25. There we go. Uh, it's a little bit dimmer. You can't really tell. Even at 25, it's still great. Like you can still see most of the yard at 25. That's fine. Uh, 50, 75, and 100. They're slowly grading up. Uh, honestly, I could probably put it at 50 and still be fine. Uh, the whole yard is still very, very uh, bright and very, very usable. Again, the best benefit of these things is that you can now put a street light anywhere you want without running electricity, without running all sorts of stuff underground, without running high voltage lines. In fact, this is technically low voltage because it's solar. So you know what I'm right over right now? <laughs> I'm over my swimming pool. Uh, that's actually a, a fairly safer idea than actually having a high powered street light sitting over your pool having a solar power like this is much safer. So there you have it. This is really a very impressive light. If you need a street light, if you need a bright light for a barn or a shed or outdoors, uh, anywhere where you can get some nice sun and you wanna throw down a bunch of light, this is great. And again, I'm pretty close to it right now. It's only about two or three feet away from my head. Uh, but again, if you bring it, lift it up higher, you get a nice bright light. I'm very impressed with this. I had no idea that solar lights had come this far. Uh, and the company name is again, Ocpro. I've been saying Ocpro. I think it's probably meant to be OK Pro, but it's OK P-R-O. Uh, it's just an amazing light. This is really an incredible 
solar powered street light. It's hard to believe it was a solar powered. It's that bright and that consistent. There's no flicker. Uh, really, this is a, a really, really cool light. It's, a, it's just amazing. Uh, highly recommended. If you need something like this outside, by all means, go for it. The fact that it's remote control, the fact that it's solar powered, the fact that it's so easy to install and to use makes it a win.